Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold. In the last episode we took out Moltres, the probably my favorite of the legendary trio besides uh, Zapdos. And in this episode we're going to take care of the Kanto Gym Leader rematches, so it's going to be another long one. Go grab yourself a drink or something, or if you want to just click the annotations that are going to be in the bottom right of the video right now. Each badge, each rematch, same thing as last time. And we are of course going to go to these in order, and by order I don't mean Lieutenant Surge being first, I mean Brock, Misty, Surge, Erica, Janine, Sabrina, Blaine, and Blue. So without further dudes, here comes the first one, Brock. And of course, what Gym Le Leader rematch would be uh, complete without the epic music. Brock is probably the easiest of the rematches, honestly. If I really had a mind to, I could probably sweep him with Aquana. Aquana has a choice ban, so Surf is going to be ridiculously powerful. I probably don't need the choice ban, since pretty much every single Pokemon that is going to be getting hit by Surf will die in one hit anyway. So what's next? Probably Kabutops, right? Gotta send out something that has resistance to water. Yep, Kabutops. And that's why Raiju is coming out. Uh, after this episode, by the way, I'm going to off-screen train my guys up to at least level 75. No, 70, 72. And then after that, I'm going to take on the uh, gym, uh, not gym leader rematches, but the Elite Four rematches. So, Elite Four matches will be next episode, and then after that, I'm going to off-screen train my entire team up to level 77. I'm going to fight Red, but not release it until after I've captured Kyogre and Mewtwo. So that way it'll be my finale episode. So my finale episode will be recorded before it's released, basically. The two episodes that are going to be recorded after the finale episode will release before the finale episode. So Kyogre and Mewtwo will come out before the finale and then the finale, which will have been already recorded. So I'll explain that in when I go after Kyogre when my entire team is like level 78-ish or so. Anyway, Relicanth. The only use Relicanth ever has, in my opinion, is for finding the Regis. So naturally, it needs to die. Relicanth does have pretty good defense, though. Unfortunately, it's still weak to electricity. Nice and weak. And next, Rampardos, pure rock type. And usually Rampardos does not get a chance to attack. Mainly because Rampardos is slow and has poor special defense. Rampardos has got ridiculously high attack though, and Mold Breaker. So if you have something with Levitate, it can still use Earthquake. As a matter of fact, its earthquake would probably be its moose. It would probably be earthquake, Iron Head, Stone Edge, and Zen Headbutt. That'd be the moves that I'd give a Rampardos. And give me all that more experience. Onyx is next, and even though it'll outspeed me, yes, an Onyx will outspeed a Vaporeon. Well, mainly because my Vaporeon has been largely defense EV trained. I haven't really EV trained anyone, but when I do my wild battles and stuff, usually I have Vaporeon facing off against rock types when I train them off screen, and rock types almost always give uh, defense EVs, like Donphan I think gives HP, but like in Victory Road it was almost entirely Gravelers and uh, Golbats. So yeah, that's the reason why most of my Pokemon have really good defense. Like um, <clears throat> sorry about that. Like Raiju, some of the best experience I can get Raiju right now is in the form of things that give out defense EVs. Which is, by the way, why when uh, Claire's Gyarados used Earthquake, Raiju survived it. Oh, I meant to go to summary. Like you can see, my Raiju's defense is 154 and its special attack, its highest stat normally, is 160. So, it looks like Raiju's been completely EV trained in um, defense without me doing it, so... I've also noticed a bit of a bug in this emulator. Uh, I was doing this in my Storm Silver LP. Uh, I decided uh, to get one of my other Pokemon leveled up pretty quickly instead of just doing the normal experience share thing. I decided to see what would happen if I used the cheat. And the cheats also multiply EVs, apparently. But the thing is, like, if you use the 10 times experience cheat or the 100 times experience cheat, it will treat your battle as though it's giving you defense EVs and multiply those EVs. So, I would highly recommend against using cheats for leveling because they screw with your EVs. At least in Heart, Gold, and Soul, Silver. 
And he, <laughs> you aren't adventuring around for nothing. No, I am not, Brock. I am going to quickly heal up, and then we are going to take out Misty, who, uh... I think Misty's actually the toughest rematch because she has a very balanced water team, so give me one second while I heal. Alright, we are back and ready to take out Misty. I gave Amphoros the choice band and Talos the amulet coin. Don't make me wait, I've heard a lot of th good things about you since our last battle. Apparently my reputation is spreading. Time to take out probably the most annoying of these guys. Honestly, Blaine's, in my opinion, the second toughest. Because of that goddamn super fast mag mortar of his. Anyway, she leads off with her Stormy. A fast one with, a, uh, am pretty sure it knows Surf, Thunderbolt, Ice Beam, and Psychic. I mean, that's the exact moves that I'd give one. Yep, leading off with Surf. This will probably do a decent chunk of damage. Let's see how much damage this does to Raiju. Not too bad, actually. But yeah, with those, uh, defense EVs that Raiju got, it's actually taking some physical attack spells as well as special attack spell. Go ahead and speed that up, because. Point to KO, gotta love it. <clears throat> Clear my throat a little bit. Next is Quagsire, and it knows Earthquake, so you have to be careful. Pretty sure her Quagsire knows like Earthquake, Surf, Rain Dance, and something else. You have to be careful if she uses Rain Dance, because if she gets off a Hydro Pump with Rain Dance, it can be very bad. Oh yeah, Amnesia, which is going to be annoying. Let's go ahead and speed this up a little bit. I'm getting a little lag for some reason. I don't know why. No idea why I'm getting lagged. Anyway, let's go with Toxifusion as per usual. I love how Confuse Ray is completely overpowered in the fact that it may only have 10 power points, but it's 100 accuracy. Toxic only has 10 power points and it's 85 accuracy. Now hurt by the poison. Okay, I will take that. Oh, damn it. You're welcome, I just skipped a turn for you. Let's go with, uh... Usually I can't take out her Quagsire before um, she heals, so I'm going to throw an X accuracy there. Hurt herself in confusion. Misty is a bit aggressive with her healing items. She'll use her healing items when she's in low yellow health instead of in red, so... That will... Yeah, that definitely pushes her into healing range, so let's go with another Toxic. Full restore, Toxic. Yeah, the reason I like emulators is you can use walls viably without being completely bored. Not too much damage. Confused, and the rain stopped. Alright, now power fusion again, let's throw an extra sensory on there. Confused, water pulse. Oh great, now I'm confused. I think what I'm gonna do for the next one is to use an X special defend. Alright, let's go with an X special defend then, since uh, this is just a matter of waiting out. There we are. Speed this up. Water pulse again. She, I'm not sure if she will use another uh, healing item here. Nope. Alright, there we go. That takes care of her Quagsire. You have to be careful with that Quagsire, and luckily it didn't get off another Rain Dance, so we are good there. Float Soul is next, probably because it knows Crunch. And I don't want to use Raju there because Float Soul's got pretty damn good attack, so I'm going to go with Heracross and Close Combat the crap out of it. I just, I mean, I can't think of anything Float Soul knows that's good against either bugs. I mean, it could, I don't think it knows Fire Fang. Waterfall, okay. Float Soul's got very good speed and pretty damn good attack, so you want to send out something that's got good defense. Heracross has relatively good defense. Unless, of course, you get a critical hit against you. Regardless of what happens, I'm switching after this. The Misty Fight's gonna be a long one, boys. And girls. Mostly boys, considering my analytics about 5% females. And Flotsel is done. Scarab did take a bit of a pounding to do it though. Next up, Milotic. The reason why Misty is an annoying bitch. I'm pretty sure it has a standard Milotic moveset, which would be Hydro Pump, uh, Recover, Toxic, and Ice Beam. So you gotta try to... Yep, there's Hydro Pump. Let's see how much this does without a Rain Dance. Go from 145 to 63. Wow, almost 100. So I'm probably going to wind up using a healing item right here in hopes that I can get her um, Hydro Pump to miss. Milotic is a very good walling uh, water type. I'm honestly surprised she didn't lead with, uh, with Toxic. If you can get Milotic to go first, Milotic, Milotic is a very good trapper. Alright. 
That takes care of that. I'm gonna start speeding this up a little bit. Aha, yeah, missed. Lucky me. Rest, okay. Rest instead of recover. I don't think Melodic can learn recover, actually, now I think about it. Oh, no, it can. Well, uh, friggin'. This is releasing after the champion battle for Emerald, so I'll just say it. Goddamn Wallace! Jesus Christ, so many recovers. Uh, there is one small thing. Wait, really? Nothing? Still fast asleep? Fast asleep. And sleep talk. Hydro pump and it missed, okay. So yeah, that's another thing you could do with Myelotic because it's got pretty good defenses and HP. Uh, Rust, Sleep, Talk, Hydro Pump. Not a bad combination, but unfortunately for it, wasn't holding an item that increases accuracy, so... Uh, okay. Next is Lapras. Standard Lapras, decent special defense and special attack, ridiculous high, high HP. Lapras is one of my personal favorites. Being able to learn a very very wide variety of moves. Surf, Ice Beam, oh, well, Inhale, uh, Blizzard, definitely. My guess is this one knows Surf, Rain Dance, th and Thunder. Surf, Rain Dance, Thunder, and something else. You can also learn Psychic. One thing I wish uh, Lapras could learn is something to take out Steel types, which is one thing it always has trouble fighting. Clearing my throat. Jesus Christ, Misty, you're taking forever. Speed that up a little bit. Rain continues to fall. Raiju used another Thunderbolt, and that'll take you out. Man. Choice Band, really good. That Thunderbolt would have only did about a... Maybe just over a half damage to Lapras. And probably just about half damage to Milotic as well. And Lantern, her last Pokemon. Lantern will no Confuse Ray and probably Thunder Wave. Readjusting stuff on chair. Lantern is a pretty good wall as well with decent special defense and HP. Not bad special attack either. And a unique typing of wall, Water Electric, which makes it only weak to. You guessed it. Earthquake. Well, I'm pretty sure you can also use Grass type moves, but I don't plan on using any Grass types until Platinum. And I mean, I use uh, Grass types in X and Y. Because you get a free Bulbasaur, why the hell not? Charizard, in my opinion, is a little bit overrated, as much as I love using him. Blastoise, obviously, is amazing. I mean, I like all of those starters. You know what, I'm gonna wait until she uses Confuse Ray, because I might end up getting through one. Full Restore, fast forward that, Earthquake, fast forward this. The rain stops. Okay, using Surf instead of Confuse Ray, I would've gone Confuse Ray here. That makes it essentially a 50% chance that I don't do anything. Cause, no wait, Confusion is 50% chance to attack self, and Paralysis I think is 30% chance to not attack. I think that combines to about a 70% chance to not do anything. Because you have to piss, uh, pass the 50, um, 50 check. No, you pass the 30% check, then you pass the 50% 50, uh, 50 check. Jesus. Anyway, Misty wasn't as annoying as I thought she was, but Jesus Christ, she was bad. What do you want, Lyra? Lyra, good morning. Caught again with Meryl's scent. And besides, you've told me that your Meryl has evolved into Azumarill, so you're just trying to get attention at this point. Jesus, Lyra! Ugh. Anyway, we're gonna fight Lieutenant Surge after we are back. Alright, we are back and ready to face Lieutenant Surge for this battle. I gave Tauros the choice ban. I also gave uh, Scarab an Expert Belt just in case I need to use him against Magnezone. Slightly increases the power of all super effective moves, and since Magnezone's got good defense, it could survive a close combat. Amulet Coin goes to Hustino. And... Promise we made, let's battle again! Awesome. You were about to get swept, good sir. That's my plan, anyway. Sweep with Tauros. Tauros can certainly survive anything that Lieutenant Search has to throw at him. Especially since apparently I got one with a speed nature, so it's outspeeding pretty much everything. Choice band Earthquake time! Can't believe how overpowered Earthquake is. 100 power, 100 accuracy, 10 power points. Normally a move like that only gets 5 power points. Anyway, Raichu's piss poor defense, Dunsky Doodles. That seems to be my new favorite word. It used to be any hoozle, now it's Dunsky Doodles. Next, Electivire. I am actually using this thing in Storm Silver, and I'm loving the hell out of it. 
It's fast with good attack power, and unfortunately, you know, it's Cross Chop. I did not anticipate to outspeed Electivire. That's not something I anticipated. Electivire's got good speed. That makes him a very good uh, uh, physical sweeper. Since Electabuzz is a good mixed attacker, Electivire gets a lot of attack power when it levels up. And I recently saw clips of, uh, of uh, Paul's Electivire fighting Ash's uh, Infernape. Holy shit, that battle! Next, Magnezone. Thank god Magnezone is so slow, otherwise it could get a Magnet Rise off. Another Earthquake. Lieutenant Surge, I love you. I love Electric Types. I love Steel Types. You're a horrible Electric Type trainer. Just horrible. I mean, you would be a lot better if you had an Electros. That thing with the Levitate is completely overpowered. I mean, Electros has got to be one of my favorite Electric Types of all time. Magnezone's up there as well. Electrode is next! Let's see if I can outspeed an Electrode. What level? 50... no, 52. Wow, that's actually not much higher than when we fought, first fought him. I think his Electrode was level 51 when we first fought him. This isn't much of a rematch. His Electabuzz is now in Electivire, and his Magneton is now in Magnezone, basically. I mean, he's gotten some levels, but... I would personally love to use an Electivire on this team, but... Can't do that, because I don't have trading options. Mainectric! He replaced one of his uh, Electros with a Mainectric, level 52. My sister's personal favorite Pokémon, I think. It's a dog that's electric, what's not to love? It's got good speed and pretty good attack, but unfortunately low defense like a lot of electric types. And one thing that's almost universal across electric types is not a lot of HP. None of his Pokémon have as low HP as Magnezone, though. And Pachirisu. Why you have this, I have no idea. I mean, I get that it's fast and it's cute, but come on. I mean, Pachirisu was essentially trying to be the Hallmark Rodin for Gen 4. I mean, come on. Just like Puzzle and Mining were supposed to be the Hallmark Rodents of Gen 3, and Meryl is supposed to be the Hallmark Rodent of Generation 2. It's just Pokemon trying to cash in off Pikachu. And honestly, I don't think any set of rodents has done it, especially not in Generation 6. That's just blatant Pikachu ripoff. It's an electric fairy. It looks just like a Pikachu that had a bad experience with drugs. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and heal up and stop my recording to make short saves. And uh, when we come back, we're going to almost sweep Erica with Typhlosion. I think I did have a PowerPoint up, though, so I think I can sweep her with Typhlosion. Alright, guys, we are back and we are ready to take on Erica. I gave... Mustino, the choice band, a quantum of the amulet coin. And uh, one thing I did not do, I did not check to see if I have a power point up. Protein, a calcium, two secret ashes. No, no power point ups. Oh well. It looks like Mustino will not be single handedly sweeping Erica. Ignore that, let's battle. Yes, uh, Erica would not like to be in a fighting dojo. And there she is! Such a sweet and innocent flower that is an incredible battler, but easily swept with fire type moves. Starts off with a shift tree. That's what happens when you put a leaf stone to a nuzleaf. Dark grass type. What am I doing? Eruption! And you're dead. Bug type, quite effective, just like it would be against Executor, because dark and grass are both weak to bug. So, for example, if I had Ampharos out, I'd be signal beaming the crap out of him. What's next? Blossom, Tangrowth, Jump Bluff, what? Tangrowth! There it is, level 60. Jesus Christ, it looks like it's on crack. Either way, kill the crap out of it. It's mainly defensive, so why does stuff keep falling down when I record with no provocation? Ah, uh, speed of function made that go by very quickly. There we are. Victory bell! Nope, 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 no switchies. You don't get no switchies. Instead, you get eruption! Kaboom! And waiting, 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 and done! Critical hit, that's just not fair. Same type attack bonus choice bandit eruption. Hitting for two times normal weakness. 
plus critical hit. Sometimes I feel I may have accidentally killed some of these Pokemon. Roserade, one of my favorite grass types of all time because it's got good speed, can learn toxic spikes. It doesn't change the fact that it's about to get wrecked. This is why I never am a specialty trainer, I always mix up my teams. Specialty trainers generally don't do too well. I mean, water is not bad, I mean, you can use Empoleon for uh, steel types, you can use, um, what's its face, uh, Tentacruel for special defensive wall and poison. You use uh, Dragonite, not Dragonite, um, Gyarados is sort of a pseudo dragon. Then you got Ludicolo for grass. I don't think there's a single water psychic type to my knowledge. And Blossom is dead, but that marks the end of the reign of terror that is Hustino and a corruption. Ah, damn. Jump Pluff. I really hope to god that I don't get uh, sleep attacked here. If if I do get sleep attacked here, well, I'll just switch. Jump Pluff is very fast and will outspeed me. You may be wondering what the hell am I doing? Quad weak to ice. Damn it! Thank you, Speed of Function, for making that easier. No, go to Raju here. Switch. Hey, <laughs> yeah, you're not easily KOing uh, anything. Probably gonna use Sleep Attack. I keep calling it Sleep Attack. Sleep Powder again. But anyway, either one of these is only gonna be normal effective, so. Oh, come on. I will full heal out of this. Because this is just annoying at this point. 75% accuracy without compound always, always hits. Oh, god damn, what's wrong with me? I said compound always. Speed that up. Aha! You fool, you have been doomed! And... Will this do normal damage or super effective? Ah, oh, super effective damage lived. Giga Drain! Did your dream will not save you. So far, no faints. Miss, I, I'll, I'll admit, I thought Misty would faint me a little bit. I knew Surge, Brock, and Erica would not. And Janine, I definitely know won't. I am a bit worried about Sabrina, though. And Erica has been defeated. How could you underestimate me after I've already beaten you for the gym badge? Okay, time to heal up my power points and take out the most useless member who has the lowest level rematches, Janine. Oh boy. Alright guys, we are back and it's time to face off against Jasmine. I gave Ambrose the Quick Claw, I gave Praxis the Choice Band, keeping the Expert Belt on him, aim the coin there, charcoal there. And, finally... Can't use my ninja technique, but I won't let you- Why can't you use your ninja technique? What would it be? Blow darts in my neck? Actually, probably, yeah. That'd be a very smart idea. Put me to sleep and then vanish. Anyway, the reason I gave a quick claw is because she leaves off a crowbat. And it does no double team and cross poison. And also knows U turn. Making this battle quite annoying. She's probably going to go right to Weezing, of course. She's probably going to use Sludge Bomb as well, so speed up that Thunderbolt. Wow. Nope, screw it. I was gonna switch to Bronzong because it's got the amulet coin, but... Speed that up. You do know Weezing, you are completely boned, right? Unless you withdraw. Actually, as far as I remember, the only two of the Elite Four that withdraw their Pokémon are Blue and Blaine. Blue doesn't really do it that much, but Blaine will do it, it will be annoying, and it will frustrate the crap out of you. Alright, takes care of that. Toxicroak is next, and because of that, Talos, you go out. Switchies! Thank you, speed up function, for making this very long video a little shorter. Again, something falls down while I record. Toxicroak will outspeed me, but it really doesn't matter. Cross chop. Very powerful fighting type move. 100 power, high chance to critical hit. Only 75 accuracy, though. I mean, not 75, 85. Toxicroak is quad weak to Psychic, so even my piss poor special attack should take him out relatively easily. Speed that up a little. Yep, there it goes. And I get double money, thank you. I'm gonna need that for uh, healing items and such. Next up, Crobat again. Raju again. 
my guess is you turn again. Unless my Quick Claw will activate, in which case it'll make things a lot easier. You know, when you think about it, um, Janine's uh, team isn't that... Again, with U-Turn. Isn't that bad. Because only one of her Pokémon is actually weak to ground. How, that's what you get, by the way. You're, the only Pokémon of hers that is weak to ground is Drapion. Which is, by the way, one of my favorite uh, poison types of all time. Its only weakness is ground. Because it's part dark, it imu it's uh, immune to psychic. Holy Jesus. Am I really going to... Wow, I'm going to sweep her with Ampharos. Um, I planned on bringing out Taurus and his Earthquake for this, but okay. Definitely will take it. And... Level 66. Awesome, I won't need to grind you too much for the Elite Four. Crobat again. So yeah, her Drapion is the only one that's actually weak to uh, ground type moves, unless you use gravity or something that forces uh, levitating Pokemon to land, or you have Mold, mold Breaker. Because her Weezing has Levitate making him immune, and two of her Pokemon are part Bug, which resists uh, ground. And then obviously Crobat's part Flying, so unless you use gravity, he resists ground. As he's immune to ground. Go ahead and give me that sweet state experience. Anyway, here's one of her Pokemon that is only neutral to uh, ground, and that's Venomoth. One other thing I do like about Storm Silver is it changes Venomoth to a Bug Psychic type, which actually makes it so much more threatening. Anyway, rock side the crap out of it. Shouldn't survive anyway. Attack, Nature, EV, um, Heracross, but Expert Belt just to put a little bow on it. See, the only thing that made this fight even remotely annoying was U-Turn. And it would have really just prolonged the inevitable. And, of course... You got a great battle technique. Yes, I do. Uh, one thing, one thing only. Ariado sucks. Use a better bug poison type. I'm letting it, so does Venomoth. Venomoth also sucks. There are no good bug poison types. In fact, there are very few good poison types in this game. Drapion is probably the best, actually. It's because it's fast, it can learn the fang moves and all that fun stuff. I am indeed so strong. You will never win against me. Sabrina's up next. Heelsies. Mucho's heels. Alright, we're back and ready to fight Sabrina. Just to top everything off, I gave Braxis a silk scarf and Raju the choice band. Everything else is the same. Oh boy, here we go. You... I fear her. I had a feeling. What? We promised each other, so that's no surprise. Well, you may be right. If you're not prepared, probably the scariest Elite Four member simply because of what she leads off with. And now she has a full team of Psychics. Alakazam! Yay. Level 60. Probably knows Focus Blast, Psychic, Energy Ball, and something else, so... I still outspeed it with Braxis! Yes! Either she's got a pretty damn low speed Alakazam, or Braxis is just ridiculously fast. So my speed is like 170, I expect Alakazam at level 60 to have 200 speed. Anyway, Giga Impact, just to be safe. Gallade, Psychic Fighting type. Now, who was I going to use for this? It's weak to flying and ghost, so... You do have to be careful, because Gallade has a very good move pool, and... Oh shit, what am I doing? It probably knows Leaf Blade. Well, this might be the end of a corner right here. And plus, this thing's got pretty good special defense. Okay, close combat instead. I th thought I would lead off with Leaf Blade. Leaf Blade, Psycho Cut, and uh, Close Combat are very good moves for Gallade. Come on! Ooh, that was a critical hit. So if this doesn't KO him, I can... I can heal up and still get off another Shadow Ball. Come on! Clutch it out, clutch it out! Thank you! That Close Combat probably saved me. Gallade's got very good special defense. The fact that he lowered it for me... Oof. Next up, Mr. Mime! Probably the slowest, and the only one I could probably use Scarabomb without him fainting, so... Mainly because I have not used Megahorn yet since I got it, so... Megahorn! Oh, I love that animation! And that should take care of Mr. Mime with, uh, Expert Belt, Attack Nature, and EVs, come on. 
Mr. Mime is her most defensive Pokemon, so if you can take out Mr. Mime nice and early... Ah, just close to a level. Espeon! Probably her best Pokemon all around. The only thing I don't like about Espeon, it's got a limited move pool. Can't learn Energy Ball. Anyway, but it does have good special attack. Right on, um, I think it's above Alakazam. I think its special attack is actually slightly on par with Mewtwo. Oh, boy, calm mind. Just don't use Baton... Wait, Espeon, I don't think can ever learn Baton Pass, not even through breeding. Signal Beam time! It did use Calm Mind, though, so I'll probably tank this one. Oh, holy shit tankage. But confused, so... I'll take that. Well, might as well just use another one. Hopefully no more Calm Minding. Psychic, oh boy, how much will this do? Oof, I, exactly 100. Alright, if Espeon survives this, I'm switching to... Yep, I'm gonna be switching to a physical attacker here. You know what? I mean, I probably should have switched to, uh... I really should have just... Yep, that's why I switched. I really should have just went with, uh, Heracross. On the off chance that I would hit, so... Please KO him in one shot, and if you don't KO him in one shot, please take less than half damage from Psychic. Oh, okay, good. Giga Impact against a very high special attacker. If it doesn't KO him in one shot, you pretty much just gambled and lost. And, of course, the most promiscuous Pokémon of Generation 1. Although I don't see how you can call Jinx promiscuous. I swear, it's like the Nicki Minaj of Pokémon. Th it's like Nicki Minaj took one look at Jinx and is like, That's my new look! Anyway, just eruption the crap out of him. Her. I really don't understand what the hell they were trying to do with Jinx. Jinx is possibly one of my least favorite designs of any Pokemon ever. Diggersby by far takes that cake, but ugh, one of my least favorite designs ever. I should really do my uh, top 10 least favorite Pokemon lists. I gotta get that done at some point. Anyway, level 52, 62 rather, and Wobbuffet. Here's hoping it does not lead off with Miracoat. I hate fighting Wobbuffet. Oh, it's a female one! It's even got lipstick. Please lead off with Safeguard or Counter. And please no Destiny Bond. Okay, that was super effective. Confused? Ah, oh, thank you for leading off with Counter, you moron! Ah, oh, okay. That takes care of Sabrina. Woof! Wobbuffet always scares me since I never know if it's going to use Mirror Code or Counter. Basically, you need to predict your opponent, so... It's much harder to predict something that's trying to predict you. Wobbuffet's essentially a chess mash... Mash... Match. Ah, I have to learn to pronounce my words a bit better. What do you want, Huey? Huey, sup, Huey, how I challenge you to a battle. Lighthouse! Well, I'm probably going to do that off-screen, but... Not until after I defeat Blaine. Heals these ending recordings. E to make sure it saves. E. Okay, guys, we are back and we are ready to fight Blaine. I gave Equana the choice band. And I gave Tauros the extra belt this time. Because I can't remember what the hell Blaine leads with. You kept your word. That's a good thing, kiddo. Indeed it is. It's time to crush your hopes and dreams of rebuilding your gym yet again! And five Pokemon, what are you leading off with? Please don't lead off with Magmortar. Please don't. Okay, Torkoal. Torkoal is a bulky defensive fire type who usually does shit. Anyway, surf the crap out of him. You have to be careful because his Magmortar is annoying. It's fast, it knows Thunderbolt, it knows Flamethrower. I'm also pretty sure it knows Cross Chop. And that takes care of that. And camera up is next. Really hope he doesn't switch. Anyway, camera up is also a very bulky um, fire type with HP and defense. Actually, even with a choice band, I don't think I'll take him out one shot. Oh, never mind. That that I can't take him out one shot. It's awesome. Alright, what's next, what's next? Magmortar, switchies, switchies, switchies. 
Oh, I'm about to get a Quanta one hit KO'd by a Thunderbolt from a Magmortar? No way! Anyway, I'm not a fan of Magmortar's design. I mean, I like the fact that its hands were mortar cannons, but I hate the fact that its face is a clown. I mean, I get it's supposed to be like a fiery hat, but he looks like a jester. Which I don't like. Not one bit. Oh wow, I did not know I'd outspeed Magmortar. I'm not complaining about it whatsoever. Anyway, it's level 62, probably the uh, highest of the rematch Pokémon that I can at least remember facing, because, as you can see, it can tank a hit. Oh, joy. Time to speed up the healing process, since he's going to heal as well as me. There we are. Ah, oh, that would have taken so much time without, uh, without the emulator. I'm so glad I play on emulators. Critical hit right now. Probably should have put the choice band on him instead of Aquana. I think Aquana might not have one hit KO'd those other two Pokemon with it. God damn you! Status heal! Flamethrower! How much will this do to Braxis? Whatever happens, please no burn, poor for war. Okay! Let's go ahead and uh, take him out. Ah, damn it! Gotta stop hiccuping. I also have to stop drinking coffee before I record. It's the reason I hiccup. Alright. Give me all that sweet, sweet experience. Rapid Ash is next. Very fast. Probably will lead off with bounce, honestly. Either that or Sunny Day Solar Beam the crap out of me. The next three Pokemon should not be too much of a challenge. Oh, okay, Megahorn. So don't use a Psychic type against Rapid Ash. Or a Dark type. Or a Grass type, for that matter. But why would you use a Grass type against Rabbit Ash? I didn't even know Rabbit Ash could learn Mega Horn. But no matter. Nice and easy. Level up? Is it time for a level up? Not time for a level up. A cargo! Nice and easy. Even though, according to its Pokedex entry, it's hotter than the surface of the sun, which would technically mean the entire area around here would be desolate. I mean, he's not the size of the sun, but he's the temperature, so the entire area would be baked, but... It's also part rock, which means it's quad weak to water, which means, regardless of how hot he is, he goes down. Even though technically, Aquana's surf should have vaporized upon contact. Let's just say the vapor killed it. Level 62, give me that. And Houndoom, instead of Arcanine. Poor, poor guy. Level 54, in my opinion, one of my favorite and best used fire dark types ever, because of Dark Pulse. Dark Pulse, Flamethrower, Sunny Day, and Solar Beam is a great moveset for Houndoom. Unfortunately for him, not quite good enough. If he had Sunny Day and set up for a Solar Beam, I'd be in trouble here, but he didn't. If you don't play a Blaine right, he can be tough, but... Play a lane right, and he went down as easily as you just saw. Apparently, I did not defeat your spirit. Oh well. If I'd known this dojo was going to be available, I wouldn't have needed to rebuild my gym. Wait, I still did, didn't I? Uh, what do you want, liar? Is it more about your damn Meryl? Head over Route 40 should take Polywag. No, you've called me about that already. Anyway, time for Heelsies and to defeat the last of them, Blue, who is on par with the re Elite Four rematches, so it's going to be a tough one. Okay, now we are to defeat Blue. Man, this place started so crowded, now it's so desolate. Anyway, Raiju's got the expert belt since he'll be taking on two Pokemon. Scarab has a choice band, and I really hope to God he outspeeds what I'm going to put him against, or what I put him against doesn't have either Flamethrower or Aerial Ace. Eesh. Gave Aquana the Mystic Water, and he still stays with the Amulet Coin. You get the Charcoal, and, uh... I forgot to give him the, uh, Silk Scarf. There you go. In case I need to get impact the crap out of something. Good, thanks for coming to lose to me. Wow, still got that same cocky-ass attitude. Curly, you haven't grown up like you have in the anime. Where you're a, uh... Where you lost to Ash in the... What was it, the quarterfinals of, uh... The Johto League, and then after that basically... Decided to admit defeat and become a Pokemon professor instead? Sorry, my uh, fingers were acting up. Anyway, quad week to bug, signal beam the crap out of you. Good day, thanks for playing, bye bye.
But as you can tell, level 67, that's already higher than any other Pokémon we fought in the uh, Elite Four rematches already. It also should give you a little glimpse into the mind of Will, because I'm pretty sure Will has a, keeps his Executor. Anyway, nice and easy that was. Next, Rhyperior. That makes sense. There's a reason why Aquan has a Choice Band. Surf is going to be used against two of his Pokémon. Rhyperior! Honestly, my least favorite design upon the new uh, ones that evolve from the original games. I like the design of Magnezone, I like the design of Electivire, I don't like the design of Magmortar, and I hate the design of Rhyperior. I mean, I like the idea of Rhyperior, but the design definitely leaves a lot to be desired, in my opinion. I mean, it's just too plain. I mean, it's just a single color, a collar, and some, like, plates of armor, including what looks like a cup. I mean, seriously, he's got one right over his junk. He's got elbow pads and shin pads. Come on. Be a little bit less lazy with your evolution designs. Anyway, Arcanine is next, and I don't know why he's sending out Arcanine. As far as I know, Arcanine cannot learn Thunderfang. Oh, yes it can! Whoops. I done goofed, guys. I done goofed real bad. Wow. With Arcanine's attack power, it only did 110 damage? Jesus Christ. Anyway, I'm willing to bet this thing will know f Flare Blitz, Extreme Speed, Thunderfang, and Thrash. That would be a good move for Arcanine, but unfortunately for him, he's done one. Thank you, Choice Band. Whew, I got worried when I saw Thunderfang there. Machamp. I'm trying to figure out who to use for this, since it, his Machamp will know Stone Edge, Cross Chop, probably Earthquake. Um... I don't have anything that's going to be super effective against them, so I'll just keep out Aquana for now. And just hope Surf does a bunch of damage. Come on. Okay, Dynamic Punch. Oh, uh, good luck Aquana surviving that from the little 69 Machamp. Same type of attack bonus, ridiculously high attack. At least I'm not confused. Alright, give me one second while I answer something on Facebook from a close friend of mine who's not feeling well. Alright, I'm back, and that's actually my first feint of the uh, Elite Four rematches. I would use Air Release, but I'm saving uh, the Choice Band on Scarab. Wait, do I have him with the Expert Belt, actually? No, he's got the Choice Band. And what do I have you with? Oh yeah, the, uh, the Mystic Water. You've got the Expert Belt, don't you? Nope, Silk Scarf. Who's got the ex- Oh yeah, you've got the Expert Belt. Alright, well, hopefully I can eruption him before he gets a chance to Stone Edge. Well, I've got the Charcoal on him, so this is going to be increased by 1.5, so... Let me check out my calculator, though. Do I have my calculator on this phone? Yes, I do. Okay, critical hit. That was lucky. So 150 times 1.5 equals times 2. That was 405 damage against something with low special defense. I love having uh, that right by. Okay, Tyranitar. This is your time to shine, Scarab. This really is. He gets a Tyranitar in his rematch. Now that Mount Silver's open up, he can finally get access to Larvitars and Pupitars. It's level 70, Sandstream uh, with the ability. So you're going to take damage every turn. It's Rock Dark type, so. Okay, outsped. Unfortunately, it's got good defense, so hopefully the uh, Choice Band plus Quad Weakness plus Attack EV Nature. Come on! Yes! Okay, whew! His Tyranitar always scares me, because he can't take out in one shot. It starts using Stone Edge and Earthquake and Crunch. Not a fun time. Anyway, give me level 62. I only need to grind about 7 or 8 levels out of you for the Elite Four. Sandstorm rages on! Buffed it by Standstorm. Pidgeot! His highest level. No, 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 no. That's why I gave Raiju the uh, choice, not the choice band, the expert belt. It's his last Pokemon, too. It's very fast. Level 72. You're unprepared for this. Really? You're the one who seems unprepared. You're down 5 to 1. Alright, Thunderbolt it. It does no return, though. Powerful normal type move based on happiness, and I'm willing to bet his Pidgeot is extremely happy. 
Should have used Double Team, though. I'm pretty sure it knows, like, Return, Fly, Double Team, and Feather Dance. Feather Dance is a perfect move for Pidgeot, by the way. If you had a Pidgeot from Storm Silver and Sacred Gold, this would be so insanely tough because they actually increase Pidgeot's uh, stats for um, Sacred Gold and uh, Storm Silver. They increase its attack, speed, and defense a little bit. Alright, this Sandstorm is going to push Pidgeot to the healing threshold, so I gotta throw a Thunderbolt down. Yes, you were the one who was unprepared, Gary Oak. Please grow up like you did in the anime. In this game, it's still, like, within canon that he's sort of douchey. But... Oh, my timer over there. Yeah, it's still within canon that he's... canon, that he's douchey, but in the anime, after the Johto area, he becomes much more mature. If he's got multiple full restores, now's the time for it to happen. Will this sandstorm ever subside, or does, um... Weather conditions caused by abilities persist onward even after that Pokemon has fainted. Or has it not been five turns since he fainted? I don't remember. Anyway, just keep time to keep spamming Thunderbolt. Paralyze? No paralysis. Buffet it by Sandstorms. Jesus Christ, what your full restores! How many is that, right? What the fuck? Critical hit, there you go. What is that, five full restores? Jesus, I don't even think Red has that many. <sighs> no wonder you've become the champion. Yes, now give me all your goddamn money. My scare tactic doesn't scare you at all. Ah, uh, finally, that takes care of that. Okay, what I'm going to do off screen is I'm going to train everyone to at least level 70, Raiju and Typhlosion to level 72, and then in the next episode we're going to take on the Elite Four, and after that, I'm going to train everyone to level 78. And honestly, I'm not sure if I'm comfortable with that level, even. I might wind up losing to Red my first try with that level, actually. Anyway, everyone up to level 78, and then we're going to try to defeat Red. When we defeat Red, we will go after Kyogre, and then finally Mewtwo. But I will release Kyogre and Mewtwo after... Um, I will release Kyogre and Mewtwo before fighting Red. So, my levels are going to be slightly higher than they should be for those two. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed... And as always, take care.